The M4 is the key artery for the economy of South Wales. Without the M4, the economy simply wouldn't be able to grow or prosper. So it's essential that we make sure that maintenance is carried out when it's required and where it's required. Maintaining the M4 is essential to Wales and the UK economy. The Brynglas tunnels in Newport were built 50 years ago, but are no longer compliant with current design standards. Further deterioration was caused by a fire in 2011, which caused significant damage to the structure. On the 20th of July 2016, work began to bring the Brynglas tunnels back up to European standards. These are uh, mechanical and electrical repairs. It's a £40 million programme to make sure that the M4 can run smoothly through the Bringlass tunnels. We know that there was a fire here in 2011. This work will remedy and rectify all of the damage that was caused by the fire. The project is to replace uh, concrete dado panels on the, the lower levels, which uh, protect the vehicles if they have impact to the side of the tunnel. Replace all the mechanical and electrical fittings and the lighting inside the tunnel. Install some additional emergency protection measures with um, PA systems, fire sensors, heat sensors, and uh, put a, a new water main in to allow the fire brigade to fight fires if there are any fires in the tunnel in the future. It's absolutely essential as well for investors to be able to see that Wales is open for business, and I think demonstrating that by making sure that the Green Glass Tunnels has the investment that it requires. It's very important. I'll be working on the Yes Bridge in the days. We're working on Malpas Viaduct and we're going to put some cathodic protection elements in there. Uh, I'll be working within the Green Glass Tunnels then on the night shift to minimise the disruption on the travel of the public. These closures will take place four nights a week from 8 pm till 6 am. This includes a limited number of short weekend closures. The Usk River Bridge and Malpass Viaduct needs essential maintenance. We need access under the River Usk Bridge to tackle the joints, the hinge joints and expansion joints that need uh, repair. And part of the works that we're undertaking on the bridge will involve hydro demolition, which is high water pressured demolition of the existing hinge joints. In order to do that, we need to contain the water, so it needs to go under extreme water containment to stop any pollution entering the River Usk. Uh, we then contain the water and we'll pump the water then from the scaffold onto the riverbank where it will be treated before discharge to the sewage system. We have about 92% staff here uh, from the local area. We're investing in our young engineers. We have an apprentice program here where we currently employ two apprentices. We have um, two graduates, um, two undergraduates as well. Once completed, the tunnel, the bridge and the viaduct will be back up to standard and will continue to be effective and resilient. We're on track to see completion in spring of 2018, but there will be points at which uh, the roadworks actually cease. So, for example, during the Six Nations and the Champions League final and other major events. So we're trying to keep disruption to an absolute minimum. This is essential work and it will help the economy and it will help communities in South Wales in the long run.